Hello, you crazy panel people that are into Jupiter stuff. Well, I am into Chris. Been working with Chris almost as long as I have the channel. And we have very different ideas of what a pedal should do, but that's the great thing. We're good friends, and I really like his attitude, what he does. Uh, can I use every pedal he makes? No. But because of our friendship, I get to play them. And then I get to experience things that I otherwise would never experience, like the Silver Machine. Now, when I just did the sounds for the intro of this video, Leslie said, that's just a bunch of noise. And yes, it is, but no, it isn't. It's beautifully shaped noise. This is the silver machine right here. And it isn't just a fuzz. It's a, it's technically an octave fuzz where the octave is always on. It is not your chord pedal. It really isn't. It is a single note lead machine. Think Hendrix, but on massive steroids. <laughs> Obviously, the whole, the, the whole freaking thing is, you know, as black as it comes, says, fuck you, is with 9 volt. Only, if you look at the back at the back of the pedal, everything is top-loaded, beautifully chassis-mounted 9 volt. This is handmade in Germany by a small team in Wilhelmshaven, where Chris and his team are. Uh, he tests every single pedal himself. This is high-end shit done to perfection in black and al aluminum um, with these knobs that he uses, you can see the pedal and you immediately know this is a Jupiter pedal. Now, there isn't a lot to understand here. There's volume, then there's gain, and then there's gain again. There's two gains. That's it. Can you play wrist with it? Yes. But they will be fuzzy, they will be distorted, they will be unintelligible in a way. But then you listen to Rival Sons and you realize there are some amazing sounds and songs to be had with fuzz. Um, and when it comes to leads, super compressed, super saturated, super fuzzy, synthy in a way. The higher you get, the more gain you get, it gets synthy. But then also, there's this beautiful filtering going on. As if there's a low pass slash a little bit band pass filter happening as your envelope goes down so as your guitar sustains and the level goes down there's a meow happening on the note absolutely beautiful so if you're looking for fuzzy leads the silver machine is your friend i'm playing it with blanche my tone fox bulldog single uh humble p90 p90 charlie christian in the middle um she has Really amazing P90 sound. But these in-betweens are just... Fendery! We're gonna be here because with Octavy things, it's always a good idea to be on the neck pickup. You don't want all that high-end traveliness from over here. The pedal has a three dippy dip switch inside. And Chris said if you flip all of them up, it gets duller and less aggressive in the top end. And it was extremely aggressive in the top end. So I opened it up, flipped them up. Uh, it was too much for me. So where it is now, I freaking love the thing. So here we go. Um... Level. Came it a little bit with the level. It's emphasizing the overtones so much that the really top ones, the nines and stuff, they, they get in each other's way. So playing chords. If you're staying with fifth, okay. Maybe, but...
almost ring modulator sounds happening there. Yep. It's single note. Oh, I'm of course going into the Tone King, Sky King, uh, with the 412 cream bag loaded cap and the ox. <laughs> That's where it's at. So we're gonna go back a bit. Dial up gain number one. I need to start playing leads instead of riffs because this is where you hear that beautiful filtering going. dial in some delay here for some leads from the RE202. Get both games up. You know the cannabis kind of sound. It is the cannabis kind of sound, but not not cannabis as in cannabis. No cannabis. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, you know, like the metal zone when you say, "Oh, that pedal sounds like a cannabis." No, this is a cannabis, but 
in the best possible way. Uh, super musical and, and it feels like you actually, it sounds really dumb, but it feels like there's a friend that you're playing with. The, you're not necessarily fully in control of the sound. The sound and you are doing something together. I know that sounds completely ridiculous, but that's coming out of my mouth right now because my brain is thinking it. That's the only way to describe it. It's not fully you playing. It's you and the pedal. A symbiosis of musical proportions, if you will. Let's take it into a couple different amps. Um, nothing actually there. MVP, we had to just change for the Carl Martin because let's not go there. Things happened. Um, let's go to the Marshall SV20H, the mini plexi, should sound like so. what it's supposed to do in a freaking marsh we're gonna go into the morgan ac20 boxish Sounds like it's doing its thing no matter where you're sending it. Let's send it into the Marshall JCM 800, which of course is driving quite a bit. Okay, so, so the bottom line is uh, this thing over there does its thing that it does in any amp, whether the amp's already edge or break up, cranked a little bit, it doesn't really matter. The silver machine sounds like the silver machine in every amp because it's such a unique guitar tone twister that I'm going to say what guitar you play doesn't matter. What amp it goes into, who cares? If you want the silver machine sound, all you really need is the silver machine. And that's not going to be your sound unless your band is very messed up for most of your set. But those leads that just need to be super sustained and, and be-ish, that's the only way to, to describe it, it freaking nails. And that it's as if there's a phasery kind of filter on it, on but it reacts to the envelope of your guitar, which is great. Put some delay on it, uh, some other effects, and just have these crazy wild singing. It sings like crazy singing solos. So if you're if you're done with the average overdrive, if you're done with the distortion, the overdrive, the clon, the all these, and you want that other lead for that song or two, that's the thing. I don't want to call it an octave fuzz. It is what it, it what it does, 
but it does it in a very unique way. And unapologetically, there is no turn the octave on or on. No, there is, it's two games volume. That's freaking it. Of course, Chris says, you know, this is how you should use it. But that's Chris and he's off his meds. What can you do? I'm going to link to Jupiter Effects down below where you can order it. Uh, this was a paid for video as most of my videos are, or some of them, or who knows, I'll always tell you what's happening. But my opinions are, are, are my own. And especially when it comes to fossils, my opinions are fucking my own. So I'm going to keep this thing. Most certainly, this is not going to go on the sale pile for when I need that very special lead that actually rhymes. So links below. Thanks, Chris, for being my friend. And uh, animals at the end, as always. And you won't surrender to the blind leading the blind.